When Noah was about 15 months old, he began having daily intense meltdowns. They weren't tantrums, they were meltdowns. From the second he woke up in the morning until the second he tried to go to bed at night. We saw pediatricians, we saw developmental pediatricians, we saw neurologists, we saw dysmorphologists, geneticists, I don't know how to spell geneticist apparently. We saw neuropsychologists, plural. We went to the school district for help and we saw several psychiatrists and tried many, many different medications. Not one doctor that we saw mentioned the possibility of Noah having fetal alcohol spectrum disorder. As a matter of fact, his pediatrician at the time told me that it was a parenting issue and that we just needed to learn how to parent him better. We finally found a wonderful angel of a doctor up at UCLA who was world renowned and known for her FASD research. She saw Noah, she diagnosed him, and she gave us the relief that we were looking for. It was validation for Noah and validation for us. We now had something to work with. But now what? Where do we go from here? Well, we tried therapies, multiple types. We tried one-on-one -on -one behavioral intervention. We went to the school district again and tried interventions with them. And when Noah was nine, we made the most difficult decision of our lives. And we placed him in a residential facility for children with behaviors. It was truly the most difficult day of my life. I literally spent hours sobbing after I said goodbye to Noah. Noah has been in some sort of residential on and off for the past five years. He's unable to live at home due to safety concerns. We want so badly for Noah to be able to come back home with us. But at this point, it's just not safe. This is where Kisses for Noah was born. I want to build a home, whoops, for kids like Noah who have fetal alcohol spectrum disorder and cannot live at home. That is my dream, that is my hope, that someday this will happen. But for now, Stay tuned for a Kisses for Noah nonprofit. That is our goal for this year to open a nonprofit to be able to someday fund a Kisses for Noah facility. Thanks so much for watching and thanks for being a part of this journey.